from the sisters. Assalamu alaikum everyone here. My name is Revati. Brother Zakir, I'm your great fan. I'm very much enlightened by your talks and lectures on Islam and comparative religion. I have been reading Quran and I have a lot of Muslim friends. I'm from Singapore, born and brought up in India. I have some uh, questions and please clarify. Thank you so much. My question is, can we relate the regeneration of skin for hellfire as stated in Quran chapter 4 verse 56 as reincarnation of new life for real suffering? Thank you. Sister asked a very good question. Thank you. She said that can we relate? She says that she has heard my talks and she is impressed, Alhamdulillah. That's the reason she's quoting with reference, Alhamdulillah. She's saying that the Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 56 that the skin is replaced so that you can feel the pain. Is it similar to reincarnation and a person is born again in this world? Sister, both are different. What Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 56 as to those who reject our signs, we shall cast them in the hellfire. And as often as the skins are roasted, we shall give them fresh skin so that they shall feel the pain. Previously, science thought that only brain was responsible for feeling of pain. Today, we come to know that in the skin, there are pain receptors which are responsible for feeling of pain, which we did not know earlier. Quran says that God will give fresh skin so that they shall feel the pain. Scientifically, it is proven. Now, for example, Almighty God is just. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 40, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never unjust in the least degree. That means he is very just. For example, history tells us that Hitler incinerated 6 million Jews. Today, if our law catches Hitler, what punishment can you give? Maximum you can give is kill him. That will take care of one. What about the remaining 5,999,000 people that he has killed? In the Akhirah, in next life, Almighty God says, as to those who reject our signs, we shall cast them in the hellfire. As often as the skins are roasted, we'll give them a fresh skin. If Almighty God wants to incinerate Hitler six million times, he can do it. Twelve million times he can do it. This is an example of the punishment in the next life. This does not justify about the cycle of rebirth. This cycle of rebirth, sister, if you read in the Vedas, Veda is the most authentic book amongst all the Hindu scriptures. The Veda speaks about Punar Janam in Rig Ved, volume number 10, Punar Janam. Punar means next, Janam means birth. Even we believe in next birth. Even Quran talks about next life. Once we die, we will be resurrected on the day of judgment. Same thing Veda says, Punar Janam means next life. But the scholars of Hinduism, they came out with a philosophy known as Samskara. Samskara in Hinduism, it is the cycle of birth, rebirth, birth, rebirth, birth, rebirth. This is nowhere mentioned in the Veda. Veda speaks only about next life, which even Quran speaks. But the scholars of Hinduism could not justify how people are born, some people are born handicapped, some people are born in poor family, some people are born with congenital heart disease. So God cannot be unjust. So to justify the justice of God, they come with a new philosophy called as samskara, cycle of birth, death, birth, death. Maybe in their previous life, they did some wrong deed, therefore they are born handicapped. This is the philosophy of the Hindu scholars, not of the scripture. Your Vedas are very explicit, punar janam, next life. Even Quran says, you come in this world. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mul, chapter number 16, verse number 2, Allazi khalaqal mawata wal hayata. It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. So this world, you have only life once. Once you die, Almighty God will resurrect you on the day of judgment. That's what the Vedas say. But the Hindu scholars, they could not explain why some children are born deaf, some dumb, some with heart disease, some in a poor family. Because they could not justify, they came with this philosophy which is not mentioned in the Vedas. Same way if you read Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita says that how does a soul change body? How does a caterpillar when he goes to a blade, he jumps onto a new blade? Same way the soul changes into a new body. Doing once we have no problem, but doing multiple times is totally wrong. Now, I will give the explanation, what does Islam have to say that? Now you will ask me the question, okay, if the Hindu Pandits are wrong, what is the explanation in Quran? In Islam, 
as I mentioned, Allah says in Surah Mul, chapter 16, verse number 2, Allah di khalaq al mawta wal hayata. Its Almighty God has created death and life to test which of its good indeeds. So this life, sister, is the test for the hereafter. Every year when you appear for the examination, the test paper keeps on changing, right or wrong? You can't have the same paper. Similarly, Almighty God tests different people in a different way. The Quran says, your children are a test for you. Quran says, your wealth is a test for you. So Almighty God makes some human beings born poor, some rich. For the rich people, they have to give zakat. In Islam, every rich person who has a saving of more than 85 grams of gold, he or she should give 2.5% of that saving every lunar year in charity called a zakat. Poor man, there is no zakat. He gets 100 out of 100 marks in zakat. The rich man, if he doesn't give zakat, he'll get zero. If he gives half zakat, he'll get 50%. We say, Are garib hai, are poor man. That poor man is good. In Akira is passing. So poverty is a test. Wealth is a test. Whether do you follow the commandment of Almighty God? The Quran says even your children are a test. Maybe there's a couple who's very pious. To that couple is born a baby who has congenital heart disease. That baby has done no sin. Quran says every child is born as a masoom. Every child is born sinless. It is a test for the parents. That do the parents yet have faith in Almighty God? If the parent has less faith, he will start complaining. What type of God is this? I have prayed so much, yet he is giving me a child with handicap. A good Muslim, he will say, Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. He will accept it. He will not complain. Maybe God wants to give that parent higher degree. If you pass your bachelor's in arts, easy test, you get bachelor's degree. But if you pass MBBS, you get doctor in front of your name. But to pass MBBS is difficult. So maybe Almighty God wants to give that parents a higher degree in Jannah. Even if they pray five times, now God wants to test them by giving them a child which is handicapped. To see whether the parents yet have faith in God or not. If they pass the test, they get a higher degree in Jannah. So the wealth, poverty, health, disease is a test. It is nothing to do with your previous life. That is the theory of the Pandits, not of Vedas. So Veda is the same thing what Quran is talking about. You come in this world once, then you have next life, Punar Janam. But not death, birth, death, birth. This is not part of Veda. Hope that answers the question, sister. Sister? Do you believe there is one God? I believe in. Uh, I believe that there is one God and Prophet is a final messenger. Thank you. Masha, do you believe idol worship is wrong? No, I'm not doing uh, idol worship for the past uh, nine years. And, if if and you, I, I would like to take shahada with my children in Singapore later. Thank you so much.